Well, hello. Now, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we just snowshoed for 17 minutes. And now I'm sitting down here by the stream. It's so pretty. There is a bit of traffic. But this is such a wilderness place, isn't it? I'm lucky to have a spot here to play. I was trying to do a live video on here, but it's offline. Willem wanted to go swimming today, and I said, no, I wanted to go for a walk down here. So I'm going for a walk down here. Is the wind in the woods? what it looks like in there. There's some bubble thing. You'll probably see me even when you're over looking the other way, can't you? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this nice spot that I can come. Please bless us so we'll have a safe time as we snowshoe around <clears throat> and then everybody will be able to come along. These things we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you ready to go some more? Oh, it's no shoeing again. This time I gotta go and make new paths where I haven't made them. I'll put you back on my head. Put my coat on. I had to take off my sweater. Hey, you know what I'm gonna do about this terribly dirty coat? I'm gonna dye it so it'll match. Maybe it'll match. We'll see. much warmer. Mm. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see what we can do about this here. These are good ones for <coughs> snowshoeing because I might fall down and get snow up there. Okay, and away we go.
My arches are too low. These arches will grow. These trees are alive. Ah. <sighs> 
time to sit. Did you like that one? I snowshoed down to the road and back. Good job, eh? I have to keep my head down most of the time because the, the branches are so close. Oh, something's happening on my phone. Does that mean we have service? If we do, then I could go live. But it's just going round and round. Yeah, it's not going to work, I don't think. Maybe it will. If it does, we'll work it. Anyway, I was going to write my journal. I haven't written my journal since last Saturday, I guess. This is already Friday. Well, Thursday and Wednesday, I just sat around and watched Netflix. And Tuesday and Monday and Sunday, no idea what I did. I could go back and look at videos. I think one of those days I went to Ottawa to see, check out the protesters. I'm a bit afraid to go back there because they are, if they clamp down on parking and people, then I will, um, I could get in trouble for being there. I don't know. I, I heard that they were putting out fires. They were walking around putting out the campfires. That's not very enjoyable for the people sitting around the campfires. Anyway, I heard the Premier, who's like the governor of Ontario, he's a Premier, I'm talking a minute ago, and he's like, he's going to open the Ambassador Bridge. There's a lot of illegal stuff going on when they close bridges and things like this and disrupt life for so many people. There's factories that have closed down now because of not being able to get their parts. They've Ford and different car plants, you know. They have reduced the shifts and some have even closed because they don't have the parts they need because they're on the other side of the Ambassador Bridge. I think it's time for Ontario to have more of its own factories and create more of its own stuff. I think all the countries should do that. And then we don't have to use all these trucks and go such long distances with items and make so much pollution. Trucks make a lot of pollution, you know. You saw it over Ottawa, didn't you? The whole city was shrouded in smog because of the truckers running their trucks all the time. I hear there's people up there in those high rises that can look down on those trucks that are polluting the air and also that were blowing the horns and they're really having to restrain themselves from violence, these people up there. One person told person that related it to me that it would be so easy to just drop a Molotov cocktail on the top of the truck. But nothing like that has happened because Ottawa residents are peaceful and they are not, they're not violent and they're not lawbreakers. The civil disobedience that's happening right now just reminds me of the war. But you know, the mandates are almost over. Like, it's already in the process of reopening. The kids have already gone back to school. 
and they're just, you know, anyway, they're going to take credit for any reopening that happens. Like Alberta is already reopening. But I hope they just deal with the numbers, the numbers of cases. There's still a lot of people dying. There's like 3,500 people dying every day. That's a lot of people dying from something that you is supposedly no big deal. 3,500 every single day. We're in the in a peak. The peak has started to lower just a little bit, but I think we're going to have quite a huge influx as these super spreader events all these truckers in there and all these people without masks showing up together and i hope i didn't catch covid going there the other day that would not be good so i won't go around the children how long is it really is it supposed to be 14 days that you're contagious or is it 10 days after your symptoms start to pre recede or you're contagious two days before your symptoms show up. So I have no symptoms, so I haven't been contagious yet. So we'll see what happens. I hope I don't have it. I don't want to give it to anyone. See, a truck, a car went by, and now I got a notification. See? But it's not really wanting to go live. So I guess I should get off, because this is going to take a little while to upload. So, we'll see you later. I may do another one in a few minutes if I, when I walk the next path, after I get relaxed. Oh, another notification. So, it's still swirling around, trying to go live, but it won't happen here. But I could go sit somewhere in a village where there's Wi-Fi and upload them through my laptop. So, we shall see. Okay, then. It's been nice visiting with you. Thanks for being here. Wish I had my journal. Bye.